In a bid to support local farmers and bolster agricultural productivity in Fort Saint Jacques, 12 Dashin farmers recently received financial aid. Each farmer received $1,500 towards the continued maintenance of their farms. According to the Member of Parliament for Souffre Fort Saint Jacques, Emma Hippolyte, the project goes beyond mere financial assistance. It encompasses a comprehensive strategy to elevate the quality of tubers produced by local farmers while also ensuring stable market access for their produce. And we visited Saint Martin, we visited Saint Croix, and the purpose of that visit was to explore uh, markets for our farmers. And we're extremely pleased that wherever we went in St. Martin and St. Croix, there was a high demand for dashi. And as a parliamentary rep for Super Fosse Jacques, we felt, I felt that our farmers, that's the area for our farmers, they have the strength, we have the right topography, soil type, and that is their strength. And we felt that to give them the motivation to develop the market better. So we've had some meetings with them. We've had up to about 40 farmers say, uh, expressing a willingness to participate in the program. And what we are doing, we are providing $1,500 for every acre of dashing um, that is cultivated. So, so far, we've worked with the Extension Officer, Ministry of Agriculture. They've gone onto the ground to see what is happening and they've identified 12 farmers being ready to receive that support. Hippolyte says this check presentation represents only phase one of the initiative. The disbursement of funds serves as a catalyst to motivate other dashing farmers in the area to enhance their agricultural practices and actively participate in the project. Minister for Agriculture Alfred Prosper lauded the initiative and expressed optimism about the project's potential to positively impact other constituencies as well. One of the recipients of the $1,500 check, Sylvanus Calix, explained that the initiative is welcomed by the farmers. This project is a strategic move toward enhancing food security, promoting economic resilience, and fostering agricultural innovation in Soufre and, by extension, St. Lucia.